the American transportation industry has always been one of innovation and change. From Foots Express to horses, horse and wagons, and carriages to horseless carriages to automobiles, trucks, and buses. Let's not forget cable cars, trains, streetcars, and electric cars, trucks, and buses. Let's also not forget bicycles. The innovations are too numerous to mention them all. Hi, I'm Logan, and welcome to another episode of Toy Talk. Today's episode centers around a school bus and a short history of a company and a man that designed streetcars and when the market collapsed, went on to make his company one of the most recognized school bus manufacturers in America. Our story began in 1916 and World War I in a small town in North Carolina. The economy in High Point, North Carolina in 1916 was in the tank because of the war. The already hurting town was then hit with the closing of the Southern Car Works, a major streetcar manufacturer based in the city of High Point. The closure and layoff of the workers further hurt the economy of High Point. Pearlie A. Thomas, chief engineer for the former Southern Car Works, was asked by the Southern Public Utilities Company to gather a crew together to repair some of the utility company's streetcars. Being unemployed, he was only too happy. Starting from the renovation of older streetcars to begin building new streetcars, Thomas saw his cars running the streets in many American cities. 1930s saw a decline in streetcar orders. The automobile and buses were replacing the streetcar. Thomas Car Works adapted to the changing times and began building buses. The Thomas Car Works ceased production of streetcars and in 1936 launched a new product, school buses. Thus began the new era for the Thomas Car Works and pushed them to the forefront of an emerging industry. As time passed, gradually, Thomas turned over day-to-day -day operations to his children. In 1958, at the age of 84, Thomas passed away. By 1960, the Thomas Car Works had built a nationwide reputation as a school bus manufacturer. Why companies can't leave their names alone I will never understand. But to better reflect the business, Thomas Built Buses became the new name in 1972. The name change was a good thing and came at a good time. Thomas expanded its inventory by introducing in 1977 its first bus chassis and began producing the popular safety liner transit style bus. Thomas expanded to manufacture a smaller school bus, the Minotaur, and in the 1980s entered the commercial transit market. Big changes came to Thomas in 1998. Thomas built buses, became a wholly owned subsidiary of Freightliner LLC, a Daimler company. The strength of Freightliner now known as Daimler Truck North America, has helped Thomas Built Buses grow and adapt to changes in the transportation industry. Always on the forefront of school buses, Thomas Built Buses has taken green innovation to the next level. The company introduced the Safety Liner C2 Julie all-electric school bus in 2017. A dream come true, or? Self-propelled vehicles were thought of back in the 15th century as a way to move people from place to place. The first practical electric car may have been built by the English inventor Thomas Parker in 1884. 
there were many inventors trying to adapt electric propulsion to automobiles and trucks. Streetcars, buses, and electric trains. No problem. Overhead wires. But for the automobiles and trucks to be independent, a battery is necessary. Tesla was the first to lick the problem both for cars and trucks. Now, the Julie all-electric school bus by Thomas Built Buses is joining the electric movement of school children. Let's go on to the rock quarry to see a model of a Thomas Built Buses safety liner C2 school bus. And this is the 154th scale. Yes, I know, an odd scale, but it's a 154th scale Thomas Built Buses safety liner C2 school bus. It comes in a sealed box, but they do have some really nice graphics on it. And that's a picture of the real bus, not the model bus. It has an item number and it has the Thomas Built Buses logo there. Underneath, it has some contact info for them and a date code, 3 of 22. And then on the ends, just the logo. And then the back, same as the front. Up there on top, we have another nice picture of the bus be nice if they had actually used the model bus instead of the real bus but these are meant as promos for thomas built buses instead of as a toy for us to sell on shelves and try and sell that way so the sealed box is fine it has a two-piece blister on the inside which holds the bus very very well and here it is the thomas built buses safety liner c2 it is a die-cast metal bus in 154th scale. I know, kind of an odd scale, but buses are typically 150th to 143rd, so it's in the right realm. It's also it's made as a promo model as opposed to a model for collectors, so it also kind of gives it the odd scale. Makes a good size bus that they can hand out and show off to people, so it's a really, really nice bus. It's die cast metal with some plastic parts, like it has plastic wheels, soft rubber tires, a plastic base plate here. All of that's okay. It's got safety liner C2 and Thomas Built Buses Inc. cast into the bottom, plus the scale of 154th scale. The seats on the inside are also another uh, group of plastic parts. There's regular seats for kids, plus a high back seat for the driver. And then there's a nice dashboard with steering wheel in there. Now the windows, of course, they are ABS plastic, and you can see it has a nice little black outline for the gaskets, which is really, really nice. Nice hard clear plastic. It has a tampo here for the grill, and then the front radiator grill is an ABS plastic part. The bumper is also plastic, but it's part of the chassis. The headlights here, they are just tampos on each side. It has these little marker... Um, it has these little mirrors here so the driver can see what's down in front. Plus it's got the big mirrors there and those are ABS plastic parts. Higher up, you can see inside the dash, there is the dash inside the window. There is the outer ones for red for flashing lights for the students and then yellow for warnings. And then it has school bus written there and then three marker lights. Instead of the Freightliner coat hanger logo in the front, which this does use the Freightliner M2 hood. It has Thomas built buses because this is a Thomas built bus. It uses the Freightliner hood because, well, it's part of Freightliner trucks. On the roof, you can see the air conditioning uh, works here, vent, and then the escape hatches. They also have painted the roof on this one here white, by the way. Lots of buses have the white roof because it makes it much, much cooler inside. Really, really nice course school bus yellow on the outside and then the black on these rub bars for uh, detailing doors do not open anywhere nor do any of the windows but they got a nice uh, pattern here carved in for the doors with the windows in them now these doors would flip out both ways instead of the fold up doors pretty cool it's got a little uh, piece here bolted in that would be your Flip down for a step so you can climb up and look, work under the engine or check the mirrors, but it doesn't actually do that. There's also some marker lights cast in, and then they're just, they didn't even bother to tamper them. They just left them in school bus yellow. 
uh, belly box there. Really nice soft rubber tires on these uh, wheels. And then they are painted black because, well, let's face it, most schools just run black painted wheels because there's no reason for the expense of chrome on a school bus. Waste of taxpayers' money in most cases, but, you know, you could probably get a chrome wheel for them. On the back, you get school bus written up there, three marker lights, brake lights, turn signals, backup lights, and then other brake and marker lights. Thomas built buses tampoed there. Then the cutout where the door handle would be, big windows that are hard plastic, red flashing lights, and yellow flashing lights. You know, the warnings for letting people know that this is a school bus and it's going to stop and for it to stop and you need to stop behind it. It's got the stop arm here on the driver's side and if you'll note, look, it flips out. Really, really nice. They did a really nice job for a school bus and let's face it. If you're a school bus collector, how many options do you have? There just aren't very many school buses out there. And this was made for Thomas Built Buses, and they use it as a promo for promotional on this bus. They've done a couple other models, but this is by far the best one they've ever done. It's the one with an actual interior instead of just painted windows. So this is a really, really nice school bus. And it wouldn't be hard to put your school district on the side plus add a bus number like all school buses have. It'd be real easy to do that to this bus. The 154 scale die cast Thomas built buses safety liner C2 school bus. A really, really nice die cast piece for anybody's collection. All the way from Foots Express to horses and wagons to early electric cars, to modern day mass transit, cars and trucks, and lest we not forget, bicycles. America is still the leader in innovations in the transportation industry. Thanks for watching. Go on and smash that like button and subscribe for more great histories of models and the real machines. I'm Logan and I'll be back soon with another diecast product review and history video.